Hey coach, thanks so much for watching this week's video. Wanted to show you something I'm really excited about, it's brand new. Go to Flag Football with Coach D. Make sure you subscribe so you get 10% off everything anytime but down here we just released our brand new wristbands so now I've got a plug-and-play bundle which includes all of my playbooks all of my practices all of my drills over 80 age-based plays I mean it's just awesome this is the most popular thing that that I offer and now we have wristbands, Coach D wristbands plug and play system so you can take plays, take it to the field, walk out there with confidence and watch your players just execute at the highest level. All right, let's jump into this week's video. Hi everyone, this is Coach D and today we're going to do something a little bit different. Probably one of the, the number one questions I get is how do I prepare for the season. Now, you might be in a league that has a coaches meeting and they help you prepare. Maybe they have some resources, but I'm gonna walk you through exactly what I do and what I've been doing for the last seven years to help me be ready and confident for that meet and greet, that first week of practice. So first things first, I like to start out by planning it out. Preparation is key for me. So what I've done in the complete coach package is I've put together a eight week schedule for you. And that starts with this week one meet and greet. So this is really mine. This is what I do. So this week, because Sammy, my niece is coaching with me on Tuesday, we decided let's get together. It was actually her idea. And let's, uh, let's plan it out. So who's going to do what? So at the top here, I basically give you a link to a video that walks you through the meet and greet. So if you have never seen that, check out the, the, the video on meet and greet. I'll put it in the, the description below. I tell you what kind of equipment to bring. I tell you about my favorite, the agility ladder, and all of them have links to different drills right throughout. So she and I, we got together and we said, okay, we're gonna start it this time. We started to highlight certain things that we really wanted to focus on. We said, who's gonna do what, right? So I asked her to do a coaching introduction and style. And one thing I think is really, really critical is to set the tone with parents and with the players. A lot of people have asked me, hey, how do you deal with parents? Um, <laughs> okay, hey, hey now. Uh, but here is the way to do it. You wanna set the expectation up front. And so what I do is I go over not only the rules of flag football, we don't go really deep into that, but really what are the practice and game rules? So things like, you know, and this is part of the, the complete coach package, but practice like it's the game, rapid reps, practicing plays, being punctual, you know, share responsibilities, uh, word of the week. I'm big on word of the week. We'll talk about that in a few seconds. And then coaching in the moment. So these are things that I go through with the parents, with the, the, the players um, during the first 30 minutes uh, of a meet and greet or if it's your first week of practice, et cetera. Then I asked her to do this, you know, get to know, right? And so we're basically just um, sharing the responsibilities. And then she thought it'd be a good idea to do, okay, at what time do we need to look at the, the watch and say, hey, uh, we're on time here uh, at different times. So you'll see we, we put that in here right? 345, we need to be at this point, et cetera, right? And then, okay, hey, this is going to go a little bit short. Let's, let's put it down to 10 to 12 minutes, right? And what, so this is just really making sure that your confidence level just skyrockets, whether you're doing this alone or you're with somebody else, you want to take the time just to prep it out. This only took us about 20 minutes just to map it out. And now we have this confidence. We decided we didn't need to do because we're doing middle schoolers. We didn't need to do like the QB center. Um, so just picking and choosing what is critical, what is not and then adding a few other things into the mix as well. We wanted to run a couple plays just so they can see what they look like. So we added that here at the bottom. And then at the very end, we just wanna recap. So give about five minutes just to recap, make sure that we're, we're good to go. Another thing I wanna notice um, or take note of is word of the week at the very beginning of your your season, you wanna set the tone for this word of the week. Um, for me, I, I'm all about this like, be an encourager, or if it's leadership, grit, 
you know, sportsmanship, whatever it's going to be, you want to prepare that as well and just have a quick conversation and ask them, you know, what do you think about encouragement? What does that mean to you? What does that look like in school, et cetera? So those are little things that you want to map out so you're setting the tone for what the, the rest of the season is going to look like. So that's number one. We got that prepped. Then, and I'll show you a, a quick video of us doing this, but we prepared our wristbands. So we're big into wristbands right now. Uh, they're falling all over the place, but that's all right. Uh, so what we did, she and I uh, spent, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes, an hour. Um, these plays came right off of our play builder um, that we just kind of launched and, and it's out there. But uh, these are the plays that are in the complete coach package as well. Uh, you can print them out and they come just like this and you can insert them. So I'll show that to you uh, in just a second. But basically, we have these ready. So we've got 10, uh, how many players you have. You have those ready to go. They go right on the wrist. Um, they should fit all age groups. And it's 1 through 8 here, 9 through 16, and then you have 17 through 24 down here. So right now I'm going to show you exactly what we do to prepare and laminate and everything our wristbands. Let's jump into that right now. All right, we are building out our wristband uh, and plays from the Play Builder and with the new wristband. So this is our process. Um, we have the, the printout from the wristband or from the Play Builder wristband kind of template will show up like this. Uh, we like to cut it then like this using a nice paper cutter. Sammy and I are, are making this happen right now. Uh, we've got 11 wristbands that we're gonna be filling. Uh, we just went through and did one. So they're gonna come out like this, right? So it'll be just like that. So. Um, when we put it together, we've, we've tried several different types uh, or like methods. Uh, you can do it like this, right? And then you'll just you know, cut those out. Um, this was my little station, right? So you can do it that way, or you can do a big block like this. So I think we're gonna do a big block like this, then we don't have to cut twice. Maybe put um, a few others in there. So it's just a puzzle. There's no like perfect system for it. It's just the work you gotta put in. And then what's gonna happen is these two will go in here like this. So I flip this nine through 16 over, put the eight on top, and then that's gonna go in my, um, my first window here. Um, with the new wristbands, they're gonna go, there's a nice little pocket right here on the side. But you want to cut it so that, uh, and they're sized already to fit. If I print with like in the printable area, then they should fit in just like this. All right, so my 17 through 24, that's going to go on the inside. So this shows, I mean, I'm, I'm using the exact system you are, uh, the exact wristbands you are. so. That is what it should look like on the wrist. They can quickly and easily identify what it is. We did not put the, the words or the names of the plays on there uh, for a good reason. Now you can see the plays themselves a lot bigger and it fills up more space and you can see the number. So I can call from the sideline, one, two, three, four. They know exactly what to do. Okay, and now you have all of them ready to go. So on day one during the meet and greet, I'm gonna have a couple stations set up. Um, we're gonna have a, a station for um, fitting their flags, right? So you wanna make sure you uh, help them fit their flags and I'll show you that in just a second. You also wanna have a wristband station, so a place where they can get wristbands. Um, if they need additional, like if they didn't get a mouth guard or anything, you should have somebody on site, but you can make sure that, that that's there as well. I also send out a welcome email. Now that's the in the back of our full playbook within the complete coach package. And that is a full like description of, you know, what is our focus here? Uh, when is practice? When are the games? Here's the roster. 
uh, here's the you know some videos you can kind of learn and, and start preparing for so I'll show you what that looks like in just a second as well and then I also like to have a roster so we're gonna print out a roster and make sure that we have uh, just a quick you know conversation who's who it just just to make sure that that the league and what you have on your roster is who shows up then we have footballs all right so for me your your league usually provides one or two footballs if they do not i'm a big fan um of you know going to i don't know walmart or or target or, or anywhere else um i'm probably going to be providing these at some point but grabbing a a football that is to the age group right to the age level that you are, and that should be specified within your your uh, league rules, and then you just find a, a ball that fits. So for me, I actually have a, a duffel bag, kind of a, a go-to duffel bag where I've picked up balls throughout the <laughs> throughout the years. Uh, even if I go to to uh, Goodwill and they have one like this, and it's about the same size, I'll grab that as well. Not that you need ten footballs, but I just like to have. Uh, constantly when they're you know taking a break or or if we're doing a running drill maybe I'll throw the ball to them as, at, at the same time so that we're we're getting a couple of different skills at the same time so I, I have that um, within this as well I want to prepare for my fitting of the flags and for fitting of your flags you want to have duct tape you want to have uh, scissors and you want to have this little guy right here uh, a sharpie and so what that's going to turn out to be and to look like is you're going to have fitted flags that basically wrap around them and then you tape it right so you cut off the the rest you tape it and then you'd put their name right here Okay, and I've got some videos. If you look at the how to train a new, and I'll put that down, down below as well. But if you, how to train a new player, that has me walking you through exactly how to do that. But that is here as well. So um, for me, because I've been doing this for a little bit, I like to have some extra flags. That's all this is. Um, I like to have a ball pump. So ball pumps, you can usually get those, you know, Walmart, Target, Dick's, any place else like that. One big thing that I like to do is I like to hand out these, you can call them wristbands, uh, but they say be an encourager. For me, again, word of the week, first week always is going to be uh, encouragement, right? And we talk about that and we throw these on. The kids are crazy about them. I don't know why, but they love those. So I have a bunch of those that I pass out. You also want to make sure that you have your whistle. And then uh, for me, I like to have a backpack. With the backpack, um, I have a couple of things for me personally. I like to have my own flags, right? Because I like to do this stuff with everybody. So I'll have my own flags. I'll have my own gloves. So I like to have gloves just so I can show them what good catching looks like. And then I like to have all of my, right? I just, again, you collect them over the years. And so, right, different colors. And usually I'll have blues and reds and all of that, but um, I have my cones as well. Um, this is not a, a requirement, but those are things that I like to have um, so I can carry my water bottle. And I basically now have two bags. I have that bag that's gonna have my clipboard. It's gonna have my wristbands. It's gonna have maybe some extra gloves if I, if I need them. Uh, a few other materials. I can have my ball and my other, you know, I've got a, um, an agility ladder in here. Got a bunch of that stuff in here. So now I'm walking to the field with two things, a duffel bag, a backpack, so that I'm ready to go. Now, sometimes, uh, and because we bring a lot of people, uh, what we'll do is we'll carry it on a nice little cart, which is pretty cool. But all in all, that's what I do to prepare. When I tell you all of these things, it's because I'm getting ready myself for the season. I have a meet and greet this weekend, so we are getting ready and doing exactly what you're doing right now. So this is the real deal, and this is Coach D. I'd say get some this season. If you like what you see, 
please subscribe, comment, like. You know, all the kids usually tell me exactly what to say right here, but that's what you wanna do. And then again, if you need the, the game plan, right? If you need uh, plays, all that good stuff, go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com. I've got everything there for you. Basically everything you need to crush it as a complete coach. We now have a wristband, so if you'd like to go the wristband route, we can get you those as well with a bundle pack, as you saw. And then the play builder is what I'm now using to customize plays. So I give you all my plays with the complete coach package. I import them into your play builder account, and then you can customize them however you'd like. And then when you print them out, they look just like this, and they can be put into your uh, your wristband. So that's what we're doing to prepare. And also, if for some reason you don't want to do the wristbands, well, you can also print out four per page or one per page in the Play Builder, something just like this. So if you wanted to call plays like this in a huddle, you absolutely can. This is right from the Play Builder. It gives you the easy play tells you the play number. It tells you the name of the play, all that good stuff. Anyway, get some this season. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.